Hey guys, Madison here and welcome back for another Film Friday. Today's Film Friday is number 60. That is crazy. 60 movies on the channel. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Uh, this week I am watching Forrest Gump, another very iconic film starring Tom Hanks. I've also watched Saving Private Ryan on the channel. Love Tom Hanks. Uh, You've Got Mail is one of my favorite rom-coms and who doesn't love Toy Story. Uh, so I'm really excited to see him in another one of his iconic roles. Um, this is another film that I know very little about. I think he's playing a veteran and you know you can't avoid the memes like hearing Jin A but having no context for it or seeing Forrest running with, I think, a really long beard and hair. I remember that, but I have never seen the movie, but I remember seeing that image somewhere. Um, but yeah, I, I've even been to like a Forrest Gump themed restaurant, <laughs> but I really know nothing about the film. So I'm excited to finally give it a watch. I know that it's hailed as a very, um, very incredible script that broke a lot of rules at the time and a lot of studios kind of didn't want to take a chance on it but then uh you know they're all trying to imitate it later so i have heard the legend of forrest gump never seen it and today is finally that day uh quick reminder before i jump into this week's reaction my debut novel gone outlaw is now available for pre-order on amazon so if you go to the description below, there's a link. If you click the link, it'll take you to the pre-order page and you can pre-order the Gone Outlaw ebook. So check that out if you're interested. If you like Westerns, if you like romance, action, adventure, you'll love it. So check it out. And without further ado, guys, let's watch Forrest Gump. Ooh, Sally Field. Alan Silvestri. And that's how you know the music's gonna be amazing. Very sentimental fellow. Mama named me after the great Civil War hero, General Nathan Bedford Forrest. They'd all dress up in their robes and oh my. Their seats and act like a bunch of ghosts. Alabama. Our house had been in Mama's family since. Know all those places. <laughs> Mama was a real smart lady. Oh man, is that supposed to be Elvis? <laughs> I like that guitar. Yep. <laughs> Your very best now, Forrest. I sure will, Mama. I remember the bus ride on the first day of school. Well, where is he supposed to sit? Well, there's a spot. I'm Jenny. I'm Forrest, Forrest Gump. Oh. From that day on, we was always together. Jenny and me was like peas and carrots. Go! Get you! Hi, kids. Run, Forrest, run! Now, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. Jenny and me was best friends all the way up through high school. Run, Forrest, run! <laughs> <laughs> Playing for Alabama. Oh my goodness. Stop! <laughs> I'm gonna try not to hold it against him that he went to the University of Alabama. War Eagle. <laughs> He's saying all of this to this one stranger at the bus stop. <laughs> got a boyfriend. His face. Oh. <sighs> Thank you, oh my gosh, there's another girl in there. <laughs> now 
Now, can you believe it? After only five years of playing football, I got a college degree. Congrats. Go! What's your sole purpose in this army? To do whatever you tell me, drill sergeant? Now, for some reason, I fit in the army like one of them round pegs. It's not really hard. It's a show, girl. This is so sad. <laughs> I've got something to hear for you. Oh, hey, stupid! I'm singing a song here! Forrest, what are you doing here? Ricky, dial! And you promise me something, okay? Just, if you're ever in trouble, don't try to be brave. You just run, okay? Just run away. I write you all the time. <laughs> I'm already getting teary, guys. <laughs> Ooh. So you boys are from Arkansas, huh? Well, I've been through there. Arkansas? Rain that flew in sideways. And sometimes rain even seemed to come straight up from underneath. I'll be the captain. We can just work it together. Split everything right down the middle. Man, I'm telling you, 50-50. Bubba Gump Shrimp. All this I sent her letters, not every day, but almost. I told her what I was doing, and I'd always let her know that I was okay. Love, Forrest Gump. How would he know where to send it to? When she was leaving in that car, she was like, I don't know where I'm going. Maybe he just writes them and he doesn't actually send them. This one day, we was out walking like always. And then... Just like that. <laughs> Ran so far and so fast that pretty soon I was all by myself, which was a bad thing. And on my way back to find Bubba, well, that was this boy laying on the ground. Every time I went back looking for Bubba, somebody else was saying, help me, Forrest, help me. Lieutenant Dan Coleman's dead! I know he's dead! He's gonna save everybody. I didn't ask you to pull me out of there. Where the hell you think you're going? Here, Bubba. Okay, Forrest. Oh, Bubba, no. No, I'm gonna be all right. Better get out of there. Okay, three. Then... Bubba said something I won't ever forget. I want to go home. The only good thing about being wounded in the buttocks is the ice cream. They gave me all the ice cream I could eat. It's time for your bath, Lieutenant. Oh my gosh. out there with my men but now i'm nothing but a cripple a legless freak what'd they do with lieutenant Dane? they sent him home president johnson awarded four medals of honor to men from each of the armed services america owes you a debt of gratitude son where were you hit in the butt talk sir i'd like to see that oh my gosh <laughs> Everywhere I went, I had to stand in line. And somehow he's ended up in a protest. Oh boy. Tell us a little bit about the war, man. There's only one thing I could say about the war in Vietnam. That's it. That's all I have to say about that. moment of my life I want you to have this I thought I was going back to Vietnam but instead they decided the best way for me to fight the communists was to play ping pong I 
I want her to get some self-respect and get away from these terrible dudes. A few months later, they invited me and the ping pong team to visit the White House. So I went again. Coach, come. Yes, sir! As you were. I have your discharge papers. And just like that, my service in the United States Army was over. I didn't stay home for long because I'd made a promise to Bubba. So I went on down to Biola Battery to meet Bubba's family and make the introduction. So anyway, I'm putting all that on gas, ropes, and new nets, the brand new shrimping boat. Got himself a boat. I'd never named a boat before, but there was only one I could think of. The most beautiful name in the wide world. I thought about her a lot, and I hoped that whatever she was doing made her happy. I thought about Jenny all the time. Jenny, Dad, what are you doing here? Hey. Yeah, but don't you be thinking that I'm going to be calling you sir. No, sir. That's where we're gonna find those shrimp, my boy! <laughs> no shrimp. Where the hell's this god of yours? Oh boy. Hurricane Carmen came through here yesterday, destroying nearly everything in its path. In fact, only one shrimping boat actually survived. Oh my gosh. Louise, that's forced. I thought it was a very lovely story. And you tell it so well with such enthusiasm. She had got the cancer and died on a Tuesday. And that's all I have to say about yep, that. Yep, about lady. <laughs> I'd always think of Jenny. And then... She was there. Jenny came back and stayed with me. It was like olden times. We was like peas and carrots again. And it was the happiest time of my life. Will you marry me? You don't want to marry me. Why don't you love me, Jenny? Is she leaving? She better not be leaving. Where are you running off to? I'm not running. Are you kidding me? God, the silence is awful. Why would you do that to the man? Why? That day, for no particular reason, I decided to go for a little run. And I figured since I run this far, maybe I'll just run across the great state of Alabama. And that's what I did. When I got to another ocean, I figured since I've gone this far, I might as well just turn back, keep right on going. And so, you just ran. A man named Forrest Gump, a gardener from Greenbow, Alabama, stopping only to sleep, has been running across America. Are you running for women's rights? Or for the environment? Or for animals? I just felt like running. So, I got company. And after that, I got more company, <laughs> and then even more people joined in. Some of those people asked me if I could help them out. Another time I was running along, somebody who had lost all his money in the t-shirt business, and he wanted to put my face on a t-shirt. My mom always said, you got to put the past behind you. I had run for three years, two months, 14 days, and 16 hours. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. He's just gonna turn around and go back the way he came. And just like that, my running days was over. One day, out of blue clear sky, I got a letter from Jenny, wondering if I could come down to Savannah and, and see her, and that's what I'm doing here. Henry Street is just five or six blocks down that way. This your house? Yeah, it's messy right now. I just got off work. I just, I want to apologize for anything that I ever did to you, because 
I was messed up. You're a mama, Jimmy. His name's Forrest. I named him after his daddy. He got a daddy named Forrest, too? You're his daddy, Forrest. What? <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? She just never told him? It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Forrest. I'm sick. I'll take care of you if you're sick. Would you marry me, Forrest? Okay. Please take your seat. Forrest, it's time to start. Lieutenant Dane. Guys, I just keep crying. Hello, Forrest. You got new legs. I got new legs. Custom made. Titanium alloy. This is my fiance, Susan. This is my Jenny. Hey. Hi. I wish I could have been there with you. You died on a Saturday morning. I had you placed here under a tree. About to start school again soon. I make his breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. I miss you, Jenny. Oh, the birds. She flew away like a bird. My favorite book. Is that what's his face from the Sixth okay. Sense, the little boy? I want to tell you I love you. I love you too, Daddy. I'll be right here when you get back. Oh, guys, a patron warned me to uh, have Kleenex handy while I was watching that movie and I neglected to heed that advice and uh, I should have. <laughs> I needed my Kleenex during that one. Woo. Now I'm going to sound all stuffy during the review. Um, but wow, guys, what a beautiful film. I, so unconventional especially for the time because like the ultimate rule right in storytelling is like don't just start off the story having your character delivering a bunch of exposition about his life right you're supposed to kind of reveal it throughout the story you know sprinkle it here and there they always say no info dumping this movie is literally just him sitting on a bench telling his story to these random people who end up on the bench beside him at the bus stop <laughs> It's so, it was really genius. It really was because it could have been so poorly done, obviously, but the execution was so amazing. Like I started to slowly realize as the movie was going on, wait a minute, this is the whole movie. The whole movie is him telling his story. Like at first I thought it was just kicking things off and then we would catch up to him at the bus stop and then go on from there. But that did not happen until the end, basically. I mean, last what, 10, 15 minutes? We finally catch up to where he is in the present and then showing what happens afterwards. I just, my gosh, and I never a dull moment. I was just riveted listening to this man's story the whole time. I mean, um, I, I'm assuming Tom Hanks won, won the Oscar for this because holy crap, what a performance. I loved Forrest. I loved him. He was just so genuine and such just a good person, caring about everyone, being kind, brave, and ironically, you know, his motto was run, force, run, which of course I've heard that, but you never, you can't get the impact of it until you actually watch the movie. And I really take it as like, just keep running, just keep going, like not running away, but just keep going because the message of the movie really feels like, it felt very authentic in that it was showing the dark side of life and the tragic side of life, but it was also showing that there's a lot of beauty and beautiful and happy things can come out of tragedy in the hard times. And the way he just got, kept getting up and kept going was really inspiring. And I can hardly even talk about it because I'm just sitting here crying. Um, 
and the parts with Jenny really ripped my heart out seeing her history where she came from and why she was the way she was and the ghosts that haunted her and what she was dealing with. She really struggled to ever value herself and say hey I deserve better. She finally did come home to him at the end and seeing them get married. Oh that got me. Um, and it was sad that what happened to her, you know, um, gone way too soon. But she lives on in Forrest and Forrest Jr. Uh, God, that part where he says you were with me the whole time. I just, <laughs> that was one of the most beautiful lines I've ever heard. I couldn't, I'm paraphrasing, but I couldn't tell where heaven stopped and the earth began. It was just, <sighs> what a beautiful line. <sighs> um, Sorry, this is going to be a horrible review to listen to because I'm just stuffy, I'm crying. <laughs> Good grief. Um, his, his relationship and development with Lieutenant Dan was so powerful. Seeing Lieutenant Dan going from, like, I deserve to die and that survivor's guilt to having a, a, a wonderful and fulfilling life because Force saved him, making his peace with the war and everything that happened in Vietnam. It was, you know, so much of it is heavy and it's sad, but I don't feel sad at the end of this movie. I feel uplifted. And it, it was just a really beautiful representation of life. The ups, the downs, everything in between. I could talk this, about this movie for a long time, but I won't subject you guys to any more of my, my snotty, tearful talking here. But wow, just a fantastic, incredible movie. Uh, the intro with the feather, the outro with the feather incredible cinematography, everything about it, performances, score, everything was fantastic. Loved the the connection to my home state, Alabama. Uh, wonderful, wonderful movie. So thank you guys so much for voting for it on the poll and for watching it with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you want to see the full length reaction, head on over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash K teams. And I will see you guys next week for another Film Friday. Bye, guys.